Hello, collective. Welcome back to the channel. This is your intuitively awakened star seed with a message for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. Welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. This is going to be an intuitive love message. This is a timeless reading and it is a general message for all zodiac signs, you guys. So please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I am sending you love, light, gratitude, Palo Santos, you guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this journey of enlightenment, you guys. Thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and tap into your reading. We're going to take a look at your the current energy surrounding your connection with your person, okay? We're going to take a look at um, your person's energy surrounding you, um, also to what your person's true intentions are, okay? So taking a look at the overall energy here, um, you guys... Always only take what resonates. Please leave the rest. All energy is fluid. It can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her. People, places, things. You guys, let's go ahead and tap into the who, what, when, where, and why. Archangel Michael, please protect us during this message. Any negative, dark energy, please return to sender. Channeling energy, channeling energy for the collective, the white light. Spirit, please give us a clear message. What is this card? Okay, clear message for the collective. The first card that came out is the Hierophant card, okay? I'm getting a lot of energy here. Picking up on a lot of energy. Spirit, the Hierophant card. Why is the Hierophant card here, Spirit? Spirit. This is about commitment, a deep spiritual knowing. Someone trying to find deep spiritual knowing. This could be someone that is seeking. I feel I'm picking up on the energy of somebody that's seeking a deep spiritual knowing regarding the connection that they share with you. Somebody wants to know more. So this is someone that could be getting, um, seeking wise counsel, right? This could be someone that is um, seeking divination, right? Somebody who could be getting readings, could be getting um, tarot readings, oracle readings, right? I'm seeing here there's something to do with communication. So this could be a separation I'm, I'm picking up that there is someone that wants to be committed to you. It's like there's somebody that wants to be in a long-term commitment with you, Divine Feminine. And I'm seeing here, this is someone that they're trying to understand something. They realize that there's something very strong about this connection. I'm also picking up on there's a change or a transformation that's happened. I'm hearing elevation and evolution. But this person wants to... See, we have the Ace of Swords and we also have the Three of Wands. So this is someone that wants to take action, right? But this is someone that also wants to understand you on a deeper level, right? This is someone that realizes that there is something very different about this connection. So th this is this divine masculine that I'm picking up on is embarking on a spiritual journey. You're the catalyst for that divine feminine. There's something to do with divination. There's something to do with tarot reading, okay? Or oracle readings, right? I'm hearing seeking wise counsel of something to do with a practitioner, right? This person... This divine masculine realizes that there's a hold on them. You have a hold on them. This is something that they haven't felt before, right? So this is an, they're not able to detach from you. 
at least fully. So this divine masculine may have been suppressing their emotions during this separation or this contact, but they're not fully able to detach from you. I just heard the physical realm. So there's something with regards to the physical realm and the spiritual realm with regards to this connection. And I feel like this is aligning with the answers that this divine masculine is trying to get. The knowledge, right? That this divine masculine is trying to understand or trying to learn about you because they understand, baby, something's different here. This is someone that could have been a player, someone who was very non-committal in the past, right? So this is someone possibly that has like um, a different type of attachment, right? This is someone that does not attach. They could be um, an avoidant type of attachment or anxious, right? So this is someone that has never fully attached to anyone, but there's something that is holding them to you, Divine Feminine. It's like you have bits and pieces of their soul. It's like you're holding a key or a piece of their soul. Ciao. This is someone, Ace of Swords, that wants to make contact, but they need to get this understanding. This is someone that wants to have a future. This person wants a future, a long-term commitment, and they want to take action. They absolutely plan on taking action, but this person is seeking deeper knowledge, deeper wisdom is what I'm getting regarding this connection because they know this is different. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Wow. Wow. This person, it's like something has been revealed, right? I'm getting something has been revealed during this separation that's got this person mind blown, right? So I feel like this person is on a journey, right? They're on the path of enlightenment. They're on the, a journey of enlightenment, right? Especially with regards to this union. But I feel like what they're finding has definitely got them shook because divine feminine, you're, I'm getting your vessel, right? The vessel that you're in, your physical body, you are very attractive. And it's like, this divine masculine is very physically attracted to you. There's a lot of physical attraction, but this divine masculine has never felt this the levels, the dimensions to this type of attraction, this divine attraction, right? They've never felt the simultaneous physical attraction and the spiritual attraction, right? That's what this divine masculine is trying to figure out. Uh-huh. There's a soul connection and soul tie. A soul activation took place here. This divine masculine knows you are there happily ever after. There's no doubt about that, Divine Feminine. Ten of Cups. They know you're the one. You got to be the one. The way that they're feeling, these emotions, these deep feelings, these deep emotions. This Divine Masculine was somebody that was very often on, hot and cold, right? This They were never consistent with anyone. I feel like you got closest to this Divine Masculine. This Divine Masculine was very consistent in the beginning with you, right? They were consistent. Um, I feel like things were going well. You understood your assignment. This Divine Masculine was getting aligned for their ascension, right? And I'm seeing here this Divine Masculine started acting inconsistent. Off and on, hot and cold with you, right? This Divine Masculine was falling in love, right? They were falling in love, and this is something they haven't felt. Remember, I said this divine masculine is not a person that attaches. Not easily, okay? But this person, this divine masculine was feeling that. That I'm getting that unconditional love started getting this divine masculine to become vulnerable, that vulnerability scared them. This is something that was very unfamiliar to them. So this divine masculine I'm getting was 
still in between worlds with their past and with you and your divine entity, right? You're in this beautiful physical vessel, but this divine masculine can't figure out how you can be so beautiful, but also there's this simultaneous attraction is what I'm getting, divine feminine. Because this divine masculine was only was only in unions or dealing with people, other feminine energies at the superficial level, never the supernatural, only that superficial level, right? This divine masculine never felt that soul connection, a supernatural connection, right? Something that is beyond this world or beyond this physical realm, right? So this divine masculine is trying to understand this. But one thing's for sure, two things for certain. This divine masculine knows you're there happily ever after. You're the one, right? And they fumbled it. Oh, they messed up. They fumbled it. Mm-hmm. Learning. They fumbled. This is, I'm getting there's something revealed, right? Because I feel like I'm seeing here, I'm picking up on the energy of what was revealed, right? To this divine masculine. I'm seeing here the two of cups, right? So this is a divine union. So this divine masculine is getting confirmation or will be getting confirmation that this is a divine union. I'm seeing it in the cards, right? This is what has this divine masculine attracted to you in the physical sense, right? In this physical realm, right? You guys are tapped in at a higher level of consciousness, right? Again, this, this love that you share with this divine masculine is defying time, and space, right? You guys have found one another here in this lifetime. But this has been many lifetimes. Ooh. Child, what we got here? Oh. Spirit, please give us more. I'm getting enlightenment, awakening. This divine masculine is shook, right? I feel like, or they're going to be shook. Now, three of wands is clarified by the three of cups, okay? There's a third party here. I'm seeing third party energy. Now, with the three of wands, this is clarifying the three of wands. So I'm seeing this divine masculine, like gathering everything and it's like everything is aligned. Everything is aligned. Their ducks are in a row to come towards you, right? But they need to get clarification because they don't want to fumble this, right? I feel like you're in that queen of swords energy. This divine masculine realizes that this window of time they're hoping for. They don't want to mess it up with you, right? But also with this three of wands, this is preparations to move forward. This divine masculine has made up their mind to move forward with you, right? They're turning their back on something. And this is clarified by the three of cups, right? Which is giving me third party energy. So let's clarify, you guys. Let's clarify. Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more for the collective. Thank you. Page of Wands. This Divine Masculine taking action. Again, I'm picking up on an intense physical attraction for you, right? Now, this Divine Masculine, again, only went on the superficial level. This Divine Masculine never tapped into a soul connection with anyone, any unconditional love, any type of strong attachment. It was always the superficial level, never the supernatural, right? This Divine Masculine is, I'm getting the type of person, definitely a player, but there was never, there was never, 
a connection between the physical and this divine masculine's emotions until now with you. The times that you shared together, there was a soul activation, right? There was an energetic exchange that's undeniable with this divine masculine, divine feminine. Yes. Mm hmm. <clears throat> there was never an energetic exchange before, right? Something was very different. You're reading between the lines here. Yes. Spirit, please give us more. Wow. I'm seeing burden. Trying to understand what they're feeling for you. This divine masculine has been burdened. This is why this divine masculine, I feel like has... This divine masculine has been talking to someone that is close to them, right? They had to talk to someone. They had to communicate with someone what they were feeling. Because again, there's a transformation going on here, right? Um, I'm getting an elevation, right? A change with this divine masculine, okay? And I feel like this divine masculine has been burdened in this separation. And they needed to talk with someone to sort these thoughts, these feelings, these emotions that they're feeling about you too. And I feel like they were guided to seek wise counsel, to seek divination, to get a reading, right? To see what this true connection is. That's what the blockage is, right? There's a fear here. This divine masculine, the attraction that they felt for you, it's like, there's a fear also because they're afraid they're losing themselves, right? Because when they're with you, it's like there is their their inner paradigm is being shifted, right? There is so many changes going on within them when they're with you that they feel like they're losing themselves. They don't realize that they are ascending and they're actually stepping into their true identity, their true divine being, right? Their true divine self, because that's what you're mirroring to them. But all of these feelings and emotions, they've been communicating this, right? Because they've been burdened. People see this, right? There's a shift. And it's over this divine connection, okay? And I feel like whomever they were speaking to, that's close to them has actually directed them or, you know, suggested like you need to get some, some, something else is going on here because they can see whomever this is, they can see there's a shift and I feel like there's a light, this divine masculine's light where there was no light in them up until the point of where you came into their life, divine feminine. When you guys came into union and you guys started rocking, there was a difference. There was a light. There was an aura, right? This is someone that didn't even smile. This person was, I feel like, was very detached from their own emotions or their own happiness. This could have been someone that was operating in a false sense of self. So you were guided towards this divine masculine to help them find their true self, right? their true divine self, this true divine being, right? But I feel like they were so detached from their emotions, right? I feel like there was a healing because your love is healing and nurturing. So there was a healing that was taking place here because this divine masculine was suffering in silence, right? And I'm getting from past wounds, right? Past core deep wounds, right? This is a very complex, I'm getting very complex what was going on with this divine masculine. You were definitely handpicked, divine feminine. This is your divine counterpart, right? Spirit, please give us more. For the collective, this third party, this divine masculine is ascending, right? Even though you guys are separated, it's harvest time. It's go time. Judgment. 
second chances. Harvest time, three of wands. This divine masculine is turning their back on the conditioning from their past. I'm getting pride and ego is out of the way. This divine masculine is turning their back on this third party. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Balance. See, this divine masculine found out that this is a divine connection and that you're coming back into balance. But this divine masculine is learning. I'm getting through readings. This divine masculine, they're shook because they realize that this is deeper. Your connection is deeper than this physical realm, right? These are things that this divine masculine never entertained or never thought about is what I'm getting. But now you're coming back into balance here. So this divine masculine is learning about your spiritual connection. This divine masculine is learning of your spiritual ranking. Oh. Anxiety. So this divine masculine has found out, I'm getting, through divination, through readings. I feel like this divine masculine has been getting multiple readings. They're getting spiritual guidance with this. But this divine masculine realizes that this is something you were guided towards them as part of their cosmic blueprint, right? Right? This Divine Masculine is learning all of this now and getting an understanding. Remember, we've seen the Hierophant card. So this Divine Masculine getting this deep understanding regarding this connection, right? And why is this so different? Why can't they, they can't release you. Like, they can't detach from you. This has triggered a whole transformation. Death card. Mm-hmm. Remember I said releasing, releasing all of that, I'm getting, releasing the conditioning. So when I see that death card, I'm getting that ego death energy, this divine masculine experiencing an ego death. And this is why they're seeking wise counsel. This is why they're going and getting readings. They're getting spiritual guidance at this time, right? They're learning more about you. But through learning about you, they're learning about themselves because this is a twin flame connection. And you guys share the same soul. And remember I said, you have pieces of this divine masculine soul, right? Child, during this separation, right? Mm-hmm. So this whole, the spiritual connection is got this divine masculine shook, Right? Wow, because they're learning that as beautiful as you are and as attractive as they are in the physical attraction, and I do mean physical attraction, but it was different with you, Ace of Wands. Transformation, there's a shift. This divine masculine is back in alignment with their divine feminine, right? And whomever they were close to, whomever this divine masculine is close to, right? They guided them on this journey of um, divination and tapping into their, um, I don't know, I just heard Akashic records, right? This divine masculine really wants to know more because now this divine masculine realizes there's more to their, their own existence than this physical realm, Right? So you've been the catalyst for this divine masculine's awakening, right? And I'm seeing with this transformation, something coming to an end and a new beginning. This divine masculine is no longer aligned. There's an energy here that this divine masculine is no longer aligned with. And I feel like, and this is how 
the divine works. This is how source works, how the universe works. It's all energetic. So this was a lifestyle that this divine masculine was tapped into, but they couldn't forget about you. So you guys are in two different timelines, right? You guys were operating within two different timelines, okay? This divine masculine no longer is in frequency with this. So it was like this divine masculine just woke up one day and was like, what am I doing here? This divine masculine pulled out unexpectedly from this lifestyle. See, a sudden shift. I'm seeing here chariot card. Sudden movement, fast movement, right? This was unexpected. Third party's losing it, right? This divine masculine's losing it because now they're reflecting. They're reflecting on memories now that they're obtaining this deeper knowledge about you and your spiritual ranking, right? And more about themselves. They're losing it because everything that they wanted was with you. So this is what's being revealed with this tarot reader, right? With this divination. These, I'm getting a practitioner, right? Something to do with a practitioner. There's, there's definitely some type of I'm getting manifestation. There's definitely some type of manifestation. I just heard tincture. I don't know why I heard tincture. Alchemist, right? This divine masculine is coming toward you, right? The one who walked away. The one who walked away. That's you, divine feminine, eight of cups. Right? Now, this divine masculine is getting this understanding why they're so deeply in love with you, King of Cups, and cannot let you go. They cannot let you go, right? Now, Spirit, please give us more for the collective. They fumbled, this union was fumbled in a past life. Spirit, please give us more. Why am I saying that? They're manifesting you. This union was manifested in the spiritual realm. The magician card here, I'm seeing transformation, right? So... This is, you guys are being brought back into union to get this right here in this lifetime, here in this physical realm to get on the journey of enlightenment and get on the journey of unconditional love. This divine masculine is learning. They can't detach from you because you have been theirs and they have been yours through many lifetimes. I feel like this divine masculine allowed ego to come in the way in a past lifetime, right? This divine masculine is being isolated from you because they came back here uh, to get it right. And they're doing the same thing. This is why they're, this is what's going on. This divine masculine did the same thing. I'm getting in a past lifetime with you. It was their ego. And they're losing themselves again in ego. This divine masculine has been separated. They're being isolated, right? You guys, this divine masculine was taken, right? I feel like they were removed from your energy because they were starting that same cycle again. They. That's why whomever this is, I'm picking up on Earth Angel, there are people, I'm getting these background players, right? People in the background, right? I'm hearing non-player characters, right? People in the background, right? That are guiding this divine masculine on this journey, on this path, right? To divine love with you, divine feminine. So whomever guided this divine masculine... 
towards getting readings, towards divination, right? To seek wise counsel or to seek spiritual understanding, a deeper knowing. This was someone that the divine put in this divine, or this is someone that the divine is working through to guide this divine masculine because they're starting the same thing that they were doing, yes, in a past life, right? You guys have been trying to get this right for many lifetimes. Old souls. Mm-hmm. Wow. Look at that. Chaos, confusion, upheaval. That's why everything's being turned upside down. Before this divine masculine fumbles this connection again here in this lifetime divine feminine, chow, there is some guidance here. That's what's going on because you are the one for them, right? Look at that. This divine masculine has to garner the strength and the courage to move through and step into their true divine energy. But there's a fear of the unknown and you're guiding them. But this divine masculine keeps falling short. Ah, oh, Leo energy on the board. Here comes the communication, right? I'm seeing communication coming in, right? So I'm seeing the courage to step into their divine energy, being vulnerable, right? And releasing what they're familiar with and stepping into the unknown. This is what this divine masculine was struggling with, but... And this is what the divine masculine needed to get an understanding about before they could come towards you, right? And now the divine masculine has found out the spiritual ranking of the divine feminine. And this divine masculine is like, well, damn, this is who I had? This was my boo? This was my boo that was in this physical vessel? But I, this divine masculine is realizing that that was only part of it. Oh my gosh, look at this, y'all. Mm. Now see, I'm seeing the devil card. So this divine masculine, I'm seeing communication coming in, right? I'm seeing the devil card here, manipulation, right? That's, that's giving me controlling, manipulative energy, very dark, diabolical energy, right? Someone with ulterior motives, right? Someone with an agenda. And I'm seeing here, look, sneaky energy, a trickster. So I'm getting this divine masculine. Is get, got that courage, right? They just needed the understanding. But now that they have the understanding, this divine masculine is moving towards you, right? I'm getting... They could be popping up. So I feel like the separation is ending. This It's like a whole awakening. This divine masculine is seeing things from a different perspective, their higher self. Capricorn energy on the board. With this divine masculine, I'm seeing the knight of swords. This divine masculine rushing in with communication, right? So this is all of a sudden hearing from this divine masculine. It could be... Um, a, a direct message. It could be a um, child. This could be a pop-up visit. That's the energy that I'm getting here. But also there's communication coming in from a toxic source, a third party, right? Because we got seven of swords and we got the devil card here. A romantic offer. Gemini energy on the board. And this divine masculine don't want it. Mm, four cups. This divine masculine does not want this love offer. This third party, this divine masculine, there was a sudden shift with this divine masculine's past lifestyle, right? This divine masculine was a player. And I feel like this third party has been trying to get this divine masculine to commit They've been trying, right? It's like 
this has been like the bane of their existence, right? This third party trying to get this divine masculine to commit to them, right? I feel like there may have been a situation chip here with this divine masculine and this third party. But it was like all of a sudden, there was a shift in this divine masculine's energy and they pulled back. They complete, they bounced, they ghosted is what I'm getting, right? So I feel like this third party is now like, trying to do things to get this divine masculine to come back towards them but this divine masculine is being guided towards you right that light that energy right they're no longer in frequency this third party is part of that lower vibrational energy i'm getting that that lower world energy right just very dark diabolical energy that this divine masculine is being delivered from they're being removed from right energetically they have ascended from this, right? They're on their journey of ascension. Wow. Judgment and justice and a victory. Yeah. Now is the time. I got that energy, right? Now is the time. Confirmation. Truth be told, getting real with their feelings, rebuilding this connection, getting real with their feelings for you, Divine Feminine, all of that. Because you're the world to them. There's a new cycle beginning. There's the world card. I'm seeing victory with a new cycle. Very good karma between you guys. No contact is breaking, right? So the light is shining in. The light is shining in. Third party trying to block that. Mm-hmm. They're trying to compete with you, Divine Feminine. I'm seeing here because this Divine Masculine sees things from a new perspective, right? This third party is trying to copycat because they see that this Divine Masculine is now looking towards you. They're elevating. This third party is trying to shapeshift into a Divine Feminine, right? They lack the essence. They lack the light, Right? They lack the divine energy, but this is someone that is trying to, they're in secret competition because divine feminine does not compete. Now this lower vibrational energy, oh, they compete, right? Look at this. Mm. Seeing things from a new perspective. I'm seeing with the nine of cups, divine feminine. <laughs> you are this divine masculine's wish fulfillment. This is also what they found out. See, this Divine Masculine has found out that you have a history with them, right? You, Divine Feminine, and Divine Masculine have a history with one another that spans lifetimes, right? This is what's got them shook. So this Divine Masculine, literally, they realize that, well, maybe this is like they're really falling in love because these are unfamiliar feelings, right? So this has turned this Divine Masculine's world upside down. Because even though you were separated and even though some for some of you guys, this divine masculine was in a situation ship, you were permeating their psyche, right? They could not, they could not get you off of their mind, right? Okay. So I feel like this divine masculine was conceding the battle, like, okay, because they were a player, right? Non-committal. So this divine masculine is thinking, well, maybe this, you know, divine feminine got me. I done fell in love. Did I mess around and fall in love here? But it's like that still wasn't it. And whomever this divine masculine was talking to that was that's close to them told them, you need to go get some readings or you, you need to, this is a deeper connection, right? Because it's like this divine masculine can still feel you, even though you're separated. It's like this divine masculine is picking up on your energy. There's telepathic communication. You're showing up in this divine masculine's dreams. They're seeing all of these angel number, angel number 1111, angel number 1010. They're seeing that 888 manifestation. Yeah. 
child. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. This is my masculine is show. They found out it's love, but it's unconditional love. This divine masculine found out that you are part of the same cosmic blueprint. They found out that the reason they, they, they really can't disconnect from you is because you guys are part of the same soul. So this divine masculine is shook and they're losing it because they realize that you're kindred spirits. You're kindred spirits, right? You're very, you're closely connected. And now they got you in the Queen of Swords energy. And I'm seeing good karma. Pure energy. Your pure loving energy. See, you were not operating out of ego. You were operating out of unconditional love. This divine masculine. And see, the, this divine masculine is realizing that as well, right? So it was like you relinquished control to the universe. You were operating out of unconditional love, right? And dealing, you, you go along with the laws of the universe, the laws of attraction, the laws of assumption, right? Energetic shifts and energetic, I'm getting um, energetic attractions, right? Energetic exchanges. You operate in energy and unconditional love. This divine masculine was in their ego. They were operating in control. They were operating in control and controlling their... They had to be in control of everything. But for the first time, this divine masculine was not in control of those emotions. That's why they were hot and cold. Because they were in their ego divine feminine and when they could not control those emotions anymore with you because that's when they were falling in love they were falling in love all over again and I say all over again because this is not the first time that your souls have come in contact with one another mm -mm. But this divine masculine, their ego got in the way in a past lifetime. This is what this reader, this, this spiritualist revealed. And this got this divine masculine shook. Because this divine masculine is like, wait, so divine feminine's really not new to me? It's like, no, divine feminine's not new to you. Divine feminine is you type of energy. This divine masculine shook. This divine masculine is shook. Mind blown, right? And what's been revealed. Spirit, please give us more. This divine masculine is observing you, spying on you, divine feminine. After this deep knowledge, right? After this wisdom, after obtaining this, this understanding. And there's still more work to do because this divine masculine is still trying to make sense of this. Because this divine masculine is realizing how fast a lifetime is. And how long eternity is and what infinite means. And they realize that this is a test. This is a journey, right? They realize now that they're here to clear this karmic debt. But this divine masculine ended up going right back into ego. And that's why you guys were taking, taken out of vibration again. Out of frequency. But now this divine masculine definitely is on the path to seeing. And I'm seeing that this divine masculine, they have spiritual gifts as well. This is a master manifester now. But this divine masculine now realizes that it's their ego. So there's an ego death. There's a dark night of the soul. See, this I feel like is something that this divine masculine has skipped in their past lifetime. So this series of events, right? This divine masculine going to a practitioner, right? Understanding this connection because they're realizing... First, the divine masculine was conceding. Okay, yeah, I fell in love. Okay, I messed around and I fell in love. Oh, I got caught. I fell in love, right? 
but then there was all types of synchronicity signs, right? Things that were happening that were not of this realm. And whomever they were talking to, somebody that's close to them, this could be a family member, this could be a friend, right? This is someone that does have a deep spiritual knowing that realized that this divine masculine needed to have a conversation with someone more spiritually inclined. Yeah. Because whomever this is does realize that a twin flame connection is rare. Not everyone has a twin flame. It could be a soulmate connection or it could just be somebody that you really vibe with. But this off and on hot and cold energy breaking up and wanting to come back to one another, all of this passion, this person recognized it and definitely set this divine masculine on their journey to gain some enlightenment, to gain some wisdom. And I feel like now this divine masculine sits and observes you. They spy on you. Queen of Pentacles energy because it's like... You walked away from them with this messy energy, right? You walked away from them and you stood on business. No one else has ever done this with this divine masculine. No one else has ever done this. No one else has stood on business. Nobody walks away from divine masculine. This divine masculine is used to dealing with different, a different type of energy, a lower vibrational energy, right? Oh. They observe you because it's like you're good either way. They're like, how are you like this? How are you that detachment that you have, right? When really it's not detachment, it's a shift, right? You not you don't control. So it's not you trying to control. You don't chase, you attract. You do not chase anything, any energy you attract, right? But this divine masculine couldn't understand that at the time and they're like you're good either way you're loving nurturing energy but how could you be in this queen of swords they've never seen a feminine energy move like this they've never known a divine feminine there's levels and dimensions right uh-huh and they're learning but they're observing you like chow strength queen of wands Look at these, look at the queen energy coming out here. Divine nature, action, right? A go-getter, getting things done, all, with, all while loving and nurturing, right? Mm-hmm. This divine masculine's like, how could they have your emotions all in and then you pull them back? They never experienced that, right? Ciao. The divine being. Now they're understanding. Hmm. They're understanding. They have a divine being. This is not what they're used to. And they realize that there is a, a divine plan here for the, the for their future. Knight of Wands taking action. Third parties trying to get in between this. You guys coming back into harmony. See, this divine masculine is not right without you. This is something else. And I mean that in the physical, emotional, and spiritual sense, right? But this divine masculine couldn't make sense of that. Like what they were feeling. People notice a shift, a difference with this divine masculine when it comes to you. And when you guys were in separation. I'm seeing harmony, balance, rhythm. Coming back into rhythm. This is something you didn't see coming. I feel like intuitively divine feminine, you know that this divine masculine. You know, you realize that this divine masculine does care for you. I feel like you can pick up on their emotions intuitively, but I feel like this king of swords, this deep wisdom, inner knowing, this divine masculine getting on the spiritual path, recognizing their own spiritual ranking, their own divine energy, right? 
Now, we could be talking about a Libra. We could be talking about a Gemini. We could be talking about an Aquarius here. And we also have Pisces energy, okay? So please take it how it resonates, right? I'm just looking at how that light is. It's like reflecting off of this, right? This divine masculine is reflecting on you. The light, there is something about the light, right? It's something how it's like reflecting off of that moon there. Yes. The wisdom. This divine masculine is very serious about you. There's been a lot of inner work. Okay? Introspection. And this divine masculine has been guided spiritually, right? See? See? They're making their plan to come back towards you. This divine masculine's not accepting any offers. They're not accepting these offers from this third party is what I'm getting. This card that went on the floor here, this card is actually the Ten of Pentacles. Hang on, you guys. Let me grab this. This is actually the Ten of Pentacles. So this is an abundant new beginning. With you and Divine Masculine. That's what this Divine Masculine is planning, right? And I'm seeing something to do with records, right? Like accessing records. There's been a lot of... There's been like met, like meditation and... This Divine Masculine is definitely on a journey. I'll say that. Yes. Spirit, please give us more of enlightenment. There it is. And that's divine energy there with the sun card. But I'm getting this divine masculine. This is not what they were expecting to get revealed to them, right? I feel like this divine masculine was feeling like they were going to hear something along the lines of, um, oh, yeah, there's been spell work on you. This divine feminine um, put you under a love spell or there's been a hex or there's been a curse, right? This is what this divine masculine, I feel like, thought they were going to hear. That's what they thought this, this whomever they were speaking to, the spiritualist, um, they were getting counseling, spiritual counseling, right? And I feel like what was revealed, once this person tapped into their energy, once this person tapped into your energy with regards to this divine masculine, right? This is someone that is, whomever they were speaking to was definitely dealing on the up and up, right? So it wasn't like this person was trying to access things that didn't apply, right, to this connection. They were definitely, whomever this was, whoever this reader was, was definitely on the up and up. And they were using this as a tool of guidance for this Divine Masculine's own awakening and explaining the part that you are playing in this, right? And this Divine Masculine is shook because they have found this out. They're in light now. They're like, this is what I messed up. I was playing in the face of someone that is merely in a vessel. This is someone that is in this vessel that I'm so attracted to physically, right? I'm so attracted and not understanding why they are now, you know, emotionally invested in love, deeply in love. They've never felt that physical attraction along with love. It's always been just the one, right? Now this divine masculine realizes it's time to put in that work. It's time to put in that work with their divine feminine. Look at that queen of cups. Queen of Cups, that healing, loving, nurturing energy. This divine masculine's done a lot of work on themselves and understanding this, this connection, right? The T. I'm getting this divine masculine got the T, but there's something. Why am I getting something to do with actual T? Someone enjoys tea. You gave this divine masculine tea before. You're an alchemist, a healer, a light worker. This divine masculine could have been sick or something, and you gave them something that, you know, remember I heard tincture earlier? Something to do with a tincture. Child, spirit, please give us more. And then we get the high priestess card. 
you're an alchemist. Somebody here deals with herbs, healing, on an, like an herbal level, something to do with foods or something like that. There was something for some of you guys, not all of you guys, this is a specific part, but you, you were helping this divine masculine with something. And I'm hearing it was something to do with a tea or something with a drink. I'm hearing something to do with cinnamon, but it was like a tea. You've loved this divine masculine beyond a lot of challenges, divine feminine. And this divine masculine felt better. Whatever you did, you truly did help this divine masculine. And this divine masculine is remembering this magical energy, right? There's something about you like you have this mystical, magical energy. It's like you're they see you in population with other people, right? But there's something so different about you. You're so rare. They got clarity now. That's why that nine of swords, this divine masculine's like, this is what I fumbled. My divine feminine spirit, please give us more for the collective. Ciao. See, this divine masculine is just watching you and your queen of pentacles energy, right? You're very creative. You're an alchemist. And there's something different, though, about you. So it's like you're very attractive. You attract a lot of attention. There's something eccentric, though. There's something with regards to your appearance, right? There's something that you do. I see somebody could have like piercings. It could be a particular tattoo, an earring that you wear. There's something very eccentric. And I'm picking up on something to do with flowers. Could, you could have, a, you could wear flower, a flower in your hair, something like that, right? There's, could be a flower tattoo I'm picking up on. I'm seeing piercings though, right? And it's like, I'm picking up on piercings, like, but they're unique. So it's not a uniform, like one in each ear. There's like multiple, there could be facial piercings. There's something, you have a very, something very unique, right? This divine masculine is attached to you, divine feminine. Mm-hmm. Now they know why. Now they know why. See, this divine masculine was very afraid of getting played or being vulnerable. Someone taking advantage of their emotions. Huh. They were afraid of a tower moment. They thought they were going to lose you. They thought a tower was going to happen if they were vulnerable with you, right? They thought they were going to lose you. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please give us more for the collective. Yes. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more. See, this Divine Masculine was brokenhearted, suffering in silence. So they had to get clarity. They had to get clarity about this Divine Feminine. And they truly did. They truly did. And they're shook, mind blown. And trigger, and trigger, see, spiritual journey, hermit mode. This divine masculine cut all of that past energy loose. And doesn't, this divine masculine does not want these love offers. This third party keeps trying. Nine of Pentacles. You see that? Nine of Pentacles. This divine masculine. They found out this, 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 this spiritualist, this reader uncovered. You have been their wish fulfillment through many lifetimes. This is nothing new. You are their manifestation from a past lifetime here in this physical realm, right? Mm. 
from the 5D to the 3D. Child, from the 3D to the 5D. What? Now this Divine Masculine, that all of that juggling player energy, that's over with. This Divine Masculine's focus on you. Wow. Hang on, you guys. These cards had to remove. Hang on. Now, see, this one came face down. What is this? Oh. This is, see, this is that charming love offer. A major love offer coming from this Divine Masculine to you, Divine Feminine. There's been a lot going on behind the scenes during this separation between you guys. This separation, this no contact, right? A lot of things that you didn't see. And this Divine Masculine... I feel like that's what you don't see coming, right? Because I feel like you're focused. Like, you're just in your own world, right? Mm-hmm. Child, Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. It's like there had to be some type of divine reason, some type of divine purpose, right? And this is it. This Divine Masculine's found it, right? That you are their empress. And here they come with their love offer. To their empress, Divine Feminine. Y'all, get ready. Because I feel like this is something you're not expecting. Very loyal energy. Taking action. Knight of Wands coming towards you. Very loyal, right? Mm-hmm. And look at this. I'm seeing the Eight of Swords, y'all. In their head reflecting about their past choices, beating themselves up, now taking action, swift action. Eight of Wands, y'all know, that could be days or months, I mean, days or weeks or hours. That's soon. Hearing from this Divine Masculine or some type of communication regarding this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. See that? Ace of Cups. This is what they're coming towards you for, a new beginning, that cup of love, that ace of cups. That's an abundant, loving new beginning. Oh, yes. This person is coming back enlightened, having a deeper spiritual understanding. And it's like they realize the value in this connection. They have been watching you, spying. I feel like social media just... They're admiring your beauty, but also your strength, that gentle strength that you embody, Divine Feminine. Oh, that femininity, y'all. This Divine Masculine is now, I'm getting that emotional stability, right? Emotional intelligence. Spiritual intelligence as well. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Spirit, please give us more for the Page of Cups. This Divine Masculine has been very protective of you, even though you guys are separated. This is a protected connection. Protected Spirit Guides protecting this connection. Oh, yeah. I feel like you could pick up on those signs and synchronicities, that telepathic communication. Well, never stop thinking about you. Page of Pentacles, you're getting ready to get some communication, valuable information. Yeah, this divine masculine, look, they've been through the, I'm getting a war. It's been a war out here, but they're ready to build with you. And there's the star card. Three of Pentacles. They want to build with you. They want to rebuild this foundation. Wow. Star card. That's very good energy. That is a very good omen. And we also have the Wheel of Fortune. So good karma with this connection. Y'all. Look at this. All that this Divine Masculine has been nostalgic for with you, thinking about you, Six of Cups, is getting ready to be a reality. I'm seeing a new beginning, you guys. Y'all, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. I will see you for your next reading.
Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.